Yes. Yes, trust me, I know. I know. There's a bigger picture at hand. I know. It's all about the small steps. And we're getting there. We're making progress. Yes. Yes, of course it's been done. Of course, yes, it's been done. We've secured the bag. What is good? What is good? What is good, my good people? We are back and we are here with another video. I am excited for today's video. I got some exciting stuff for you guys. We got to go on a little field trip for today's video and I am excited to share what we got to do. As you guys can tell, we are on a mission. I am on a sneaker mission. I have a goal, I have a vision, and I'm going to get it done. So tune in and find out what exactly this vision is going to turn out to be. Let's get to it. So, as I was saying, we got to go on a little field trip for today's video. The field trip we got to go on was to our local shoe retail sellers. Our local resale shoe sellers. Our local shoe resale sellers. Our local resale shoe sellers. That sounds about right. Our local resale shoe sellers. That is right, we took a little trip to a couple stores around San Diego. I've been wanting to trade in a pair of shoes that I did have in my possession. Two pairs of shoes, one pair of electric green sixes and another pair of flint red 13s. The reason being I wanted to get rid of the shoes is one, I already have a pair of 13s. I've had these 13s here for some years now actually and I, I don't plan on really getting rid of them anytime soon. Decided to go ahead and rock with these. Also with the electric greens, I actually did really like those. I like the solid black. I like the colorway of the green. I liked it all, but I have three pairs of sixes. And out of the three, that one was kind of lagging in third place. Go ahead and trade those in. See what I can do. See what I can get. See what else is out there for me. So with that being said, the first place I went to was Del Amo up in LA, actually. Not San Diego, this is out in LA. Del Amo Mall. They have a lot. I actually do like their stores there. There's one in particular that I really rocked with. I can't think of the name right now. But there are some really good stores. I found that they all kind of had the same mix of shoes. Nothing really that popped out to me. Nothing really out there that I was really looking for or felt like I needed to have. Second attempt I had, came down to San Diego. I've been hearing a lot about fire kicks in Hillcrest. Fire kicks in Hillcrest. Been hearing a lot about it, lots of good things, lots of positive things. So I went to Fire Kicks in Hillcrest and I like what I saw. It's a really nice store, really well put together. They have a variety of shoes, a wide variety of shoes. Plan on definitely going back for sure. The manager there, he was chilling. So I appreciated the whole experience and I will definitely be going back. But with that being said, I was able to trade in those two shoes and get some new heat. That is right, I came up on some new heat and I'm excited to share those with you. So with that being said, let's dive into those. Whew. The first shoe. Can I give you guys a hint? Let's see, can I give you guys a hint? I think you guys know where we're going with this. We got our hands on a pair of Bel Air 5s. Michael Jordan, Al Capone, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Bell Air 5s, that is right. Not the alternatives, the OGs. The OG Bell Air 5s. I've been wanting of these for years, and I am excited to finally have them and add them into the collection. So with that being said, let's take a look at them. Bam. Oh, let me get this more prettier for you guys. Let me put this together a little bit nicer. You know, I got my laces hanging out all ugly like. I want to come correct. I'm making a video, so I'm going to come correct. Bam. As you can see here, we have our OG Bel Air 5s. 
these bad boys dropped back in 2013. And I've had my eye on them ever since they first dropped. Back in 2013, while I was really collecting shoes, I attempted to actually get these shoes. Back when, in order to enter retro shoes, you had to enter raffles and pull up to the store early morning to get your hands on a raffle ticket and hope that they will call you back saying that your number got picked. You guys remember those days? All my sneakerheads know what I'm talking about. When you had to actually collect a raffle ticket, not digital raffles, you had to go to the store and get your hands on an actual raffle ticket. But I've been eyeing these shoes for so long and I'm just so happy to get my hands on them. Obviously they're not brand new, they're not dead stock, but I'm happy to take the hand-me-downs, man. They are still in good conditions. I saw them on the shelf, I saw them in my size and I knew I had to do what it takes to get my hands on them. This is OGs, the OGs, the alternatives, they are white. Basically, they're a white version of the gray. And there's a couple small different detail differences on them, the two major, but uh, I really rock with the OGs. Anything OG, I'm trying to get my hands on it. And just overall, look at the shoe. It's really nice, man. You cannot complain, the OGs. OG Bel Airs, man. I'm a huge fan of these shoes. I think they match me. They match my personality. I like to be a, a loud, vibrant person. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm just, that's my favorite show. I love these shoes. I've worn them for years. It's been nine, eight years since these shoes dropped. And eight years later, I finally get to get my hands on them. So that is exciting for me. I was happy to pick these up. Real happy to pick these up. But yeah, there's that. That is the first shoe that we have collected and added to our collection. We got one more shoe that I'm real excited to show to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into that. For this next shoe, just know when you see me wearing these shoes, you don't want to catch me on a basketball court. I'm going to tell you that right now. You do not want to see me on a basketball court with these shoes because it's on a popping sign. I'm dunking on you. I'm taking ankles, I'm shooting threes, I'm doing it all. I'm dropping 54 points that game and we only playing the 21. I got some OGs that I'm excited to add to the collection. We have, drum roll please. We have the Jordan Playoff 8s. 8s, 8s, 8s. That is right, Jordan Playoff 8s. Oh man, I'm excited for these, boy. Without further ado, what do you do, baby? Without further ado, we have your Jordan Playoff 8s. Retro Jordan Playoff 8s. Go ahead and take a good look at these. Go ahead and appreciate these. 1993 is the original release dates of the Jordan 8s. In 1993, Jordan rocked these shoes. He came out with commercials. Shout out to Space Jam, you can kind of see that little collab. Across the universe, people are asking, what fiend would steal Air Jordans? Oh goody, more Air Jordans for me. Pebble Beach. This is no way for a pamper superstar to travel. What the? Jeez. And they're all mine. Give me you those Air Jordans. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, no. Take these or else. Saved by a clever edit. Anyways, these shoes came out in 1993, and Jordan wore these playing in the playoffs in 1993, therefore giving you the Jordan 8 playoff editions. Go ahead and take a good look at them. We got a mostly predominantly colored black. And these are nice, man. I like the way these are put together. I've worn these, I put them on. Obviously, once again, these are not dead stock. They've been used before, which is okay with me. I'm a fan of shoes. If I see good shoes and they seem like they're in good conditions, they're wearable, there's no really any bad things about them, I'm gonna go ahead and cop them. Especially if it's something that I really want. I'm gonna go ahead and cop them, best believe. But yeah, man, the black, the way these shoes are put together, I've worn these already. They're mad comfortable. I think they're a little bit more comfortable than the fives I've got. I don't, I've never owned a pair of fives. These are my first time owning a pair of fives and a pair of eights. But just from wearing them, I really like the way these eights feel. I thought they were gonna be a little bit too much, especially with them being high tops 
and with this extra layer of fabric on the inside it's almost like a memory foam it's just really soft actually and it's got these random prints on the inside of the shoe where these memory foam kind of like the tongue the back side of the tongue and an additional tongue on the Achilles support it just feels really comfortable really mad comfortable overall the shoe is just really well put together found the shoes they're in good conditions these shoes came out some years ago over a decade ago these shoes came out and were re-released uh, to the public but I'm just happy to have my hands on a pair of them just know like I said if you see me on the basketball courts with these it's over it's over I'm dropping 54 just like Jordan did come on man but anyways, these are the two pairs of shoes that I was able to pick up. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. I got some heat, man, and I'm excited to add these to the collection. Really excited to add them to the collection. You're gonna catch me rocking these for sure. These are gonna be my personal that I'm going to keep. And with that being said, I'll go ahead and inform you guys about the mission that I am on. I am on a mission to complete the clock. What clock that is? The Jordan clock. Basically, I want to get a clock on my wall made of shoes. It's going to go by the times. Top of the clock is going to be the Jordan 12. We're going to go all the way around to the 1s, the 2s, the 3s, the 4s, 5s, 6s, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, back to 12. And we're going to go ahead and get a clock right in the middle. It's going to go ahead and tell the time. Hopefully, you know your shoes because that's the only way you're going to tell time around here. I want to go ahead and get that on the nice background on this back wall. But we'll go ahead and get that done once I am done with the collection. I am on the road to getting that done and I only need about four more pairs left. I need a pair of Jordan 2s, Jordan 7s, Jordan 10s, and a pair of 12s. Four shoes away. So if you guys need to see any size 13s, any, any one of those numbered collections, hit your boy up. Because I'm going to hit you up. And I'm a fire. Those got to be the right shoes. I'm only going to get them if I really like them, if I feel like I'm going to rock them. I see them, I like them, and I know it's for me. You got that feeling when you know you know. It's like love at first sight with these shoes, you know? You know? Anyways, that is a video. I'm happy you guys were able to tune in. I'm excited to keep on putting these videos out for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the shoes. And yeah, man, just really excited to keep on sharing my experiences with you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Be ready for the next video because we got plenty more to come. Thank you guys so much.